Okay, so we just talked about what it meant for something to be constantly accelerating. That means it's changing its velocity by the same amount each instant in time. Which means its position function will be parabolic, but its velocity function will be a straight line. So to find the acceleration of something, you're going to look at it, and you're going to look at that graph, and the acceleration literally would be, oops, sorry, the change in velocity over the change in time. And that would mean that you would take the final velocity minus the initial velocity and divide it by the final time over the initial time. In other words, it's the slope of the velocity time graph. If you want to find the average acceleration, the average acceleration is the slope between two points on that velocity graph. And the instantaneous velocity is the slope of the line tangent to that graph. Acceleration is a vector, but unlike velocity, if you have a positive velocity, that means you're going forward. If you have a negative velocity, that means you're going backwards. Or, if we use our um, compass directions, on the x-axis, a positive velocity is east, a negative velocity is south. On the y-axis, a positive velocity is north, and a negative velocity is south. But for acceleration, the direction of acceleration is the direction in which it's, it's getting faster. So if you have a positive acceleration, like we have here in figure A, then you're getting faster in the positive direction. So if the car is moving with in that direction, that is the direction it will get faster in. But if the car is moving backwards in the opposite direction, the acceleration is forward, that means that you're actually slowing down and getting slower. The car, so, so it's not telling you, you know, just because you have a positive acceleration does not mean that you're always increasing speed. And a negative acceleration doesn't always mean that you're slowing down. The negative acceleration is the direction that you would get faster in. So in this case, B, the car is moving forward and the acceleration is negative. So if it was moving backwards, like it is in D, it would be getting faster and faster. But in B, it's in fact getting slower. This is because forces cause objects to accelerate. And that force determines the direction of acceleration. So imagine if you hit somebody and, and you hit them to the north, then you would push them and make them get faster only in the north direction. They couldn't possibly get faster in the opposite direction. But if they were traveling towards you and you pushed them to the north, you would slow them down. The sign of the acceleration is, the, is in the same direction of the force that's causing it. So, if the object is moving in a positive direction and acceleration is positive, then it'll speed up. If it's moving in a positive direction and the acceleration is opposing it, it'll slow down. If it's moving in a negative direction and the acceleration is in the negative direction, then it'll speed up. If it's moving in a negative direction and the acceleration is supposed to be in the positive direction, it'll slow down. Also, when we look at a velocity graph, the rate at which we change our velocity is our acceleration. So that means the slope of a velocity graph is acceleration. This is a graph of the velocity of a ball being tossed upward. When the ball first leaves, you ha leaves your hand, it's traveling upward with a high positive velocity. But it slows down by the same amount, 9.8 meters per second every second, until it gets to the top of its motion and it stops. So this is where there's zero velocity. Then it turns around and it changes direction and it starts speeding up by the same amount that it slowed down, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So it's gaining speed but in the negative direction. Note that the slope is always negative. 
even though on the way up it is slowing down and on the way down it is speeding up. Next, in the next video, we will talk about the kinematics equations that we use to describe motion.